All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property home tour. If this is your first time tuning into this channel, my name is Chuck, it's Kusua with Simply Vegas. Licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So today I'm out here in Tule Springs, which is a master plan community in the city of North Las Vegas. So D.R. Horton has bought so much land in this master plan community. Now, believe it or not, they have a total of five neighborhoods that they have. They're gonna have over 1,000 homes being developed. Now, this neighborhood that we are in, this is actually called the Heartland Falls. Now, Heartland Falls actually has three different models that you can pick from. You have the 2665, 2988, and also the 2433. Now, we just got done doing a full video tour on this 2433 model. Now, we're going to be focusing on this 2665 model. Now, this features a total of five bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. It is a two story with a two car garage. Now, this is just kind of giving an idea. The price is about $455,000, but also that, just depending on the lot that you pick, on these are actually spec built, which means that they will build the property for you, right? They already picked all the items, permits have been pulled. Now, believe it or not, there's nothing for sale. The reason why is because they're pretty much sold out. Now, you can actually get on the entry or interest list. How are you gonna do that? Go ahead and reach on out to me. I'm gonna connect you with my man, my sales guy, Danny Lush, right? And this is what it's all about. It's about the relationship. I'm gonna get you on that list, right? And also I'm gonna get you some incentives, right? So give me a call. I definitely will hook you up. There's no charge whatsoever to hire a real estate agent to walk you through the process of this transaction. Now, this is a gated community. Now, they're all gated, basically. However, you do have three car garages as well, okay? Now, uh, we are just right off, I believe, reserve and the 215. They haven't built that uh, exit yet to jump on that 215, but it's like two or three minutes away, so it's not that far. There's another parcel that's being built right now for a school. That is correct. We also have a park right over here as well. So uh, let me put up this uh, piece of paper here. Uh, HOAs, right, for the master is going to be 77. Now for the neighborhood, okay, neighborhood is going to be, what did I say? Neighborhood will be 32 and 48, but that's also gonna be dependent on which model, because here's the thing, you have Heartland Falls with the two car garage and the three car, now with the one with the three car garage is gonna be $48, right, a month. Now if it's just a two car garage, it's gonna only be 32, so just keep that in mind. So imagine this, you attach another garage here, you just paying a little bit more for the HOAs. Now. The ones with the three car garage, I do want to point out that there's only 68 models. Now with the two car garage, there's only 120 uh, lots. Now lot premium is going to be roughly around, uh, I'm going to say $10,000. You could possibly get some stuff for free. It's just how you negotiate the deal. That's why you're going to give me a call today and I'm going to connect you into all the right places. Uh, that's right. And uh, you're probably wondering, why am I so hyped up and stoked? Well, you know what? because I'm just loving life and enjoying life. I've been going through like some mental issues here, you know? It's like, you come to a point in your life, you make the money, but then it's like, what is all this money about? So I don't know if I'm going through a midlife crisis or what, but it is what it is. You start to think what's the purpose of life, how things work, you know, start to get into more of that spiritual thing. I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. If you guys have these kind of problems, or if I'm just the only weird dude out here. All right, so let's take a look at this. We have some nice pavers. Now there are other builders that will use the pavers, but they use the terracotta pavers. And I hate the color of the terracotta because there's so many different colors and it is like a brown color. It's almost like the rock color here. This, I love the gray because it's a more of a modern, it's more settled, okay? One thing I want you to do here, here is actually get this thing sealed. Now, if you do seal this, it's gonna be more of a glossy color, so just keep that in mind. However, you don't want oil stains. Once you get oil stains, there's nothing that you can do because this concrete is actually porous, then what happens is you gotta remove that, okay? So, all, all utility lines here, okay? I'm gonna go inside because it is just hot. Well, it's not as hot as it should be this time of the month. However, I just don't like the sun whatsoever, okay? I know that sounds weird, 
Uh, I like more of the doom and gloom. All right. Now you guys probably seen this model before. Um, we toured this model back in the past. This was Cemetery Falls out in the Southwest, okay? Here we have the two car garage, but the two car garage right now is acting as a office for the superintendent. This takes us all the way upstairs. Here we have our linen closet, so let's take a look at this. Now at Cemetery Falls, the other community, right? Um, I think it was called Cemetery Falls. Anyway, it was a community out in the uh, Southwest. They didn't have these rocker switches, okay? Now, if you guys wanna see why this rocker switch is, right, really piques my interest, check out my last video of the last model, that 24 whatever, forget, uh, 2465 model, okay? I, I demonstrate why I like that. Oh, this one, we have a bedroom downstairs. Oh, you know what? This is a whole completely different model. I was wrong. There's a bedroom downstairs. Okay. Where did we start? Nine foot ceilings. We got some traverse LED lights, which we can change out. Now on the other model, okay, above the kitchen, the LED lights were all wonky. It wasn't even lined up. Now, one thing I do want to show you, and this is a trick of the trade. If you are building a home or a custom home, you have these can lightings, right? You could do this two ways with lighting, okay? With lighting, you can set it up to separate each room, or if you want your whole room to feel like it's one piece, if you line up the can lighting symmetrically, right? Now the room feels like one whole room. See, those are the tips and tricks that I'm gonna show you. That's why you need to hire me as your real estate agent because at the end of the day, I'm gonna help you and walk you through the process if you're building a semi-custom home or a full custom home. And also advise you on what to look out for, okay? I'm not a licensed contractor, it's just I've been doing this for so long, right? But my family has been in the business and I've done framing, I've done AC work, I've poured concrete, I've done painting, right? I've hung cabinets. Like I know how all this works and also, I don't want to say I've flipped homes because I'm not a flipper. I've remodeled a bunch of my rental properties, right? And my personal properties, but I end up flipping it. So I guess I don't want to say I'm a flipper because I'm not a flipper. But look, I know how it works. I know where to get the materials. I know where to get the supplies. I know how to keep the costs cheap. I know what to do with the builder and what not to do, right? So there's got to be some sort of value there here. Also, I'm educating you through the process, right? Especially like on this video. So, as you can see, we do have an island here. What's nice about this island, you do get about a foot span, so this allows you to put some uh, bar stools. We've got the standard three inch baseboards, orange peel texture with the bull nose. Now, here is the one, well, this is one of the color granites, and they do have more of a darker one. Uh, I think I like more of the darker one. However, not too fond of this. You can actually uh, select the white cabinets. Okay, these are 36 with some nice three inch crowns here. Now these are some full overlay cabinets. Now I love the cabinets here because they're not using MDFs, okay? This is a light recyclable pine, so they glue all this together. These are actually nailed in, okay? And the track is on a nice glide, okay? These are actually very gorgeous. Now, these are not soft closing cabinets, but you can change the mechanism on here and just go to Amazon. I might have a link if I do remember. Now, here, soft closing cabinets. Cool, right? So we have Whirlpool appliances. Let's see if this thing exhausts out. This is definitely something you gotta check. Yep. Some builders will charge you like Richmond American Homes, which is, I'm not knocking on them because they do have a lot of options that you can pick and choose from, but to charge clients for that, I think that's BS, okay? when all the builders give it to you for free. Now, some will charge you for a soft water loop, like the KB homes. A lot of them just come with the price of the home, which is, I think is fair. Whirlpool, dishwasher. Now this is not your top of line dishwasher or anything like this. This is just above apartment grade. I do love the undermounted sink here. And we got the Moen faucet. Now this is a brush nickel, okay? Now here's the thing. Some things that you may wanna uh, take into consideration, depending on the theme, okay? These themes are all kinda clashing because they don't have 
all the materials. And depending on the brand, you may have two different brands. Like Moen, they deal with uh, faucets, fixtures, and all that stuff, right? But they do not do like hand pulls, right? Hinges. So it's not going to be the same color because now you would have to find that brushed nickel. So it's just the same thing right here for your water purification system. Look, this is not a brushed nickel. This is straight chrome. So these are things that you just have to think about. Now, another thing I want to share with you, and I think this is actually also important. We have this tile here, okay? How do you run the tile? Do you run it parallel with the island or do you run it with the door coming in? Now, because the way that this home is designed, you cannot run the tile, right? Parallel with this island. It's just not gonna look right. It's gonna feel very cramped. So the way that they laid the tile was perfect. We have a digital thermostat here, okay? So this is where you're gonna be spending most of your time in the living room. This is a pretty decent size. I love how it's open, but it's also sectioned off with this uh, couch. Now, we have a six by six vinyl slide. Now, also with the uh, vinyl slides here, uh, you're gonna get a lot of dirt here in Las Vegas, so you gotta clean out the track. And also, um, they do make a silicone here. And I gotta put a link together for like the products that you'll need when you purchase a home, right? Cause home maintenance is a big thing. And um, when it comes to like homes, uh, believe it or not, homes are very expensive to, to maintain. And what I mean by this, and I see this a lot where people literally will have a home that's two years old and they end up selling it for a profit, but we do an inspection and there's so many maintenance items that needed to be done where it's not done. Now this is a carrier system. Uh, I'm not too sure what the uh, sear rating is because I don't feel like looking at it. Because like I said, I don't want to go out to the sun. Now another thing I want to show you, all this stuff right here, you don't get, okay? Another thing is the block wall, okay? This happens all the freaking time, okay? When you're doing your home orientation, check the block wall. The superintendent will do everything in their power to say, I'm not gonna do the block wall. They're required to do the block wall. So if you see something that you don't like, chips or whatever, let them know because they can replace that cap. Reason why they don't wanna do that is because they gotta con contact those guys back to come back out and it slows the process of closing the deal done. Next thing you know, it's on their shoulders, corporate is down their ass, and that's the reason why they try to avoid it. You get a stuff like this, a lot of that paint spill from other trades, okay? Which is crazy. That should be pressure washed off. Now you're wondering, why is there two different color block walls, right? Or two different type of textures? Well, because this tells you this is the perimeter of the outside of the community. So the HOA requires a nicer block wall. Here, this is a generic block wall. Now there's some things that you can actually do to this to actually make it look very custom. You can paint it, number one or you can add some cladding to it, which is very expensive, but also looks super cool and modern at the same time. Or the next step, you can actually stucco this and paint it and give that custom look, all right? Now, let's work our way back inside. If you guys are learning something here, folks, go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments, okay? We have alarm system here. Washer and dryer downstairs. Oh, this is doo-doo. I do not like the washer and dryer downstairs because now the person that runs the home that lives in the primary, right? So, because they're kind of like, you know, the king and the queen of the house, right? Because obviously you're paying the bill. So that means every time I got to wash clothes, I got to run downstairs in the kitchen while we have guests and all that stuff. Nah. Let's make it convenient. That should have been upstairs. I would have... I would have had that as a bathroom at that point for this downstairs versus across that hall here. But anyway, I guess that doesn't matter because I'm not building a home and it's not my home. So we have three quarter. Let's take a look at this baby. Nice high vanity, undermounted sink, very respectful. Love the window. However, I think I would want a window that has a slide so that way when you get that strong doo-doo smell in the morning, you guys know what I'm talking about, where the wife is complaining like, oh man, you smell like shit. Well, come on. It is what it is. Now, if you guys are having fun with this video, just let me know. Um, like I said, you know what? Feeling blessed. You know, I'm having a good day. You know, appreciating the things I have, pr appreciating life. You know, sometimes we got to 
step out of the matrix every once in a while and just kind of really just think about things and live life and stop trying to like compare you know where you are at in life to others and i can tell you right now man social media is like really bad because that's like one of the hardest things i have like you know i've got friends that are heavy hitters and they're doing big things and i'm talking about big things and I, i'm thinking i'm doing something big but i'm not but you start comparing yourselves to others that's not a good position to be in and i'm always sharing this with you because we are like family all right this is all real life stuff I've got problems like everybody else got problems. But you probably don't want to hear my problems. And I understand. But at the end of the day, this, this is my YouTube channel. So I can do whatever I want. So if you guys got a problem with this, let me know in the comments below. Okay? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. The lime green has got to go. Okay? I feel like I'm doing a green screen right now. 42 inch on, on the vanity, which is very nice. Four inch on the backsplash, so this is gonna be standard here. Okay, so I lost my train of thought. Did we even come down this way, the primary? Okay, so we came up, looked at that. Okay, so we're gonna go this. No, we'll work our way around. Oh, look at this, this is the graffiti wall. This is actually pretty dope, I like that. Somebody must be a skater. Man, they ruin all those decks right there. Hey, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe. And I just want to show, you know, peace. And uh, if you guys don't like the channel, then, yep, whatever. There you go. Okay, I was just trying to be funny, okay? All right, let me just kind of show you the community real quick. Uh, mailbox here. As you can see, there's so much being developed out here right now. It is just insane. I don't know if you guys can see that little green sign right there, but that's the freeway access right there. Now, it's not completed yet, so they're about to, um, they're working on it, actually, to connect it to the 215. Wow, attic access is, like, right here in the middle of the hallway? Uh, see, if we had a laundry room upstairs, you would have put it in the laundry room. So this is kind of like the bonus room, and this is just such a large bonus room. So it looks like they kind of made this, like, into a theater room. I'm not too sure what you would do with this. But this is definitely uh, a decent size. Eight foot ceilings, but there's only one can lighting. So at night, this is going to be very dark, okay? Definitely would have to add more can lighting. Lighting is so important, folks. It really is. Especially when you're trying to sell your home. If it's, if it's like looking dark and dingy, dude, people can't see beyond that. Well, that's pretty cool. Nothing too exciting about this room, just a standard room, other than just the decor. That's kind of cool. Okay. So, this right here, okay, this is locked. This just opens up. You slide this open. Now, you can actually lift this whole window up, slide this off to actually clean this, okay? Should do a video on showing you guys how to do that. All right, let's take a look at this other bedroom. Follow the call of the disco ball. Again, nothing too exciting on this one. All right, let's play with the disco ball. Are you guys ready? Here we go. This, this is a great starter home for the price. Uh, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, look at this. Look at this window you can just see right out there. Too bad you guys can't see that, but you got the nice mountain views. Man, this is a large room. You got a king-size bed here. This is actually a king cow. You've got three feet on each side for the nightstand and another two feet, so this is just large. You have a nice wide door. That's like a 48 inch door right there. That's how wide it is. All right, let's go take a look at this bathroom. Let's see what we got for the bathroom. Come on in. We have the 12 by 24, 42 upper. I'm sorry, 42 uh, vanity. And then we have all the same stuff. Now, the only thing about Dior Horton, all the homes that we look at, 
it's all pretty much the same product, basically. Like all the materials. So after a while, I mean, you know, it all pretty much looks the same other than the, the core. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because this is just a whole different floor plan. That's all it is. Well, I can tell you guys, uh, you know, home is definitely worth the price, but today I actually had a lot of fun shooting this video. I just feel like we're like family, we're just connecting. You know what I'm talking about? All right, guys, I'm gonna finish up this video. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to tune in to the LV Home Experts podcast. Uh, this week, we have a very uh, special guest. Uh, he's a real estate agent out here in Las Vegas. He's doing very well. He knows the market really well. And I always like to bring on other real estate agents to get their perspective of the market. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck Itz, Chris Walt with Simply Vegas. And be blessed, folks. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.